everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today I'm going to be walking you through a classic fiddle tune of Boil Them Cabbage Down. This one is especially for you beginners out there who are just getting into the world of fiddle tunes. It's a great one to know, great for jam sessions and even just fiddling around on your own. So let's get into it. And real quick before we jump into the tutorial, if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're here for the first time and are not yet subscribed to The Tune Project, I post videos just like this one every week, twice a week. So consider hitting that red subscribe button below as well as the bell so that you can be notified each time I post a new video. All right, so for this one, there are a couple different variations of Boil Them Cabbage Down. There's, you know, a more basic version, more advanced versions out there, but today we're gonna be covering the basic melody, going over the rhythm, just that shuffle pattern that we have. So that's what's gonna be going on today. We're gonna be sticking with the A string, and then I'm gonna show you how you can incorporate double stops into this one as well as an option. So we're starting on our A string with a high second finger and that is our C sharp so we're gonna be going from a C sharp to a D third finger which is a half step above our second finger and that's gonna sound like this all right so then we're gonna go back down to that C sharp. So we're gonna lift our third finger. We're gonna play that high second finger C sharp one more time. And then we're gonna head back down to a B, our first finger, which is a whole step down from that C sharp. And it goes like this. All right, then we're gonna hop back up to that same C sharp that we started with. All right, and then we saw that third finger D again, and now the pattern changes. We've got a little scale walking down, so listen for this slightly new rhythm that we have here. All right, so that's the whole tune. Hopefully you were able to catch that melody and just the little notes, the half steps and the whole steps that we have going on there. If not, that's totally all right. I'm gonna go ahead and play it all together for you so that you can hear how those notes sound all played together in context. So if you feel like you have it, feel free to play along with me. Otherwise, you're welcome to try to finger along or maybe just pick up on some of those notes that you didn't catch the first time. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Now, the cool thing about this tune, as I said earlier, we've got a couple different variations of it, but if you wanted to kind of take it to the next level, you feel like you've got the basic notes of the melody down and you want to kind of amp it up a little bit, you could add in the open E string as what we call a drone string. So we would play both the A string and the E string together at the same time. And that's what you heard me play in the very opening clip of this video. So if you liked the way that that sounded, just the little bit more of a fiddly feel that it gave the tune, then you're welcome to try to add in this open E string. So what we would do here is we wanna make sure first that we bring our elbow forward so that when we place our fingers on the A string, they're not running into the E string. So we wanna make sure that everything is up nice and tall, our elbow is forward to help kind of give that support and extra reach that we need with those fingers to get around the E string. And we're gonna start by just going back to the C sharp. So we've got our C sharp and E together, and then we're gonna move on to D, just like we did in the very beginning. All right. 
right? So if you can get that far without running into the E string, then chances are you should be able to get through the rest of the tune just as smoothly. If you are kind of bumping into the E string a little bit, then like I said, check your elbow and maybe see if there's a way that you can bring your elbow around a little bit, get those fingers up nice and tall, make sure that your wrist is straight and not collapsing. That'll really help as well. But you can play the whole tune through like that with the open E string in addition to our A string. So if that's something that you wanna do, that's the way to do it. And again, I played through the whole tune with that E string drone earlier in the video so if you want to hear it again how it sounds all together you're welcome to give that a listen otherwise keep working on this melody and see what you come up with with it see thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video happy practicing if you'd like to further your support of The Tune Project, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash The Tune Project for information on that. And if you're planning on buying any music or doing any shopping on Amazon, be sure to head over to The Tune Project website, which I link in the description box of all of my videos. Click my Amazon banner and whatever you purchase, a small percentage of that will go toward The Tune Project. This just keeps The Tune Project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all.